I'm not gonna lie, today has been a challenge. You might notice behind me that that is not my Honda dream. That is not dreamy. That is an imposter. Something terrible has happened in the province of Utaitani. It, it, they call it the Switzerland of Thailand because apparently it looks like Switzerland. It doesn't, but it looks beautiful. Look at the sunset behind me, oh my gosh. Anyway, today I'm gonna to be showing you the hidden gems of this province because it's packed full of them. And I'll also tell you and explain to you the terrible thing that's happened to Honda Dream today, my dreamy. It's not good news, guys. Um, difficult video to make all day. It's been a challenge. However, I mean, look, we made it. Enjoy the video. All will be revealed. <sighs> Who is this lady? Who is this? Who are you? Who are you? I have found, I came here yesterday and I'm back again today, I have found the best Khao Mun Gai players so far on this trip in the province of Chia Nat. Just 10 minutes away from the border of the province. I'm on the way to uh, Utan Thani this morning, but 7 o'clock in the morning I came here yesterday and there was a queue, a queue of people. And they weren't ordering just one at a time, they were ordering five, six, seven, maybe even ten portions at a time. This place is extremely popular and it's just a mother and daughter and she just has just the perfect combination. So Kalman Guy simply is chicken on rice, okay? But this is how you do it right, okay? You've got fried chicken, you've got boiled chicken. The rice is boiled with chicken carcass, so even the rice is really flavorful with chicken stock. You get served a really delicious hot steaming cup of chicken stock soup with a little bit of vegetable in there and then you get a really hot and spicy ginger sauce, a, a Thai sweet chili sauce. You mix it all together, you put it on top of the chicken and you're good to go. This is the perfect, perfect breakfast in Thailand and you also get delicious slices of cucumber as well. And there's a little market out here in the mornings and you know it's 40 baht it's like just over one dollar for all of this and complimentary water and ice and just atmosphere and just the perfect way to start your day in the provinces of thailand cow mun gai chicken with rice the sun is shining it is a beautiful morning here in udon thani we're arriving at our first destination holy smokes Oh, there's Buddha statues all around in that red second tier. Look, I mean, just guys, just have a look at this. Wow! This is, um... The name is here. <laughs> but uh, I remember it being saved as, like, uh, Golden Palace. Someone said Golden Palace. This province, as I said in the intro, is full of um, hidden gems. In, in fact, the whole province is completely unknown, really, um, to, to tourism foreigners like us and uh, if you're Thai as well watching maybe you don't know too much about this province well strap in because there's a lot more to discover and this is just the first thing so on the left here obviously I'm not going to drive down the fancy area but there's a beautiful gold statue of Buddha standing there and it almost looks like a church doesn't it and then this way you've got this incredible golden structure and I just think this is fabulous. I'm gonna park up and let's get a closer look. And there's nobody here. <laughs> I have not seen something so bling and gold and fancy for a long time. This is up there with, you know, the Grand Palace in Bangkok or something, like the amount of gold and jewels that I can see and it's all glittering in this beautiful daylight. 
And there seems to be actually like a road, like people are using this to get through the town. This is like the shortcut. I will just nip past the gold palace to get the milk from the shop. <laughs> it's just very casual. And what I really like is these like white pavilions that go around this side. And I think on the other side too. And I just like how it's white, but then inside it's red. And then they have hundreds of giant golden Buddhas reclining, sitting there, pondering life, overlooking the palace. And look, let's go up a bit closer. Let's have a little look at the detail. All the doors are closed. So you can't go inside, I don't think. We'll, we'll go all the way around and double check. <sighs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look how new and shiny it is. I mean, it's literally brand spanking new. Maybe they've just finished it. I'm not sure, but they've got the dragon heads and everything and the gardens are lovely. All the tiles are well polished. And then, I mean, just come and look at the detail of each statue. And there's, I mean, I'm looking now, there's probably two dozen on each level. And then there's what, four levels? And they're all this level of design, made out of concrete and painted. <laughs> this is something, isn't it? How's that for an Instagram, huh? By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, then you should because not only do I post fantastic photographs, oh my gosh, of Dreamy next to golden palaces and things, but um, it's also where I announce, you know, ride-alongs in the future when, uh, you know, you, there's opportunities for us to drive as a convoy or in small groups and discover provinces together. And I'll announce that on Instagram way before I announce it on YouTube. It's just more, it's just more of an intimate crowd over on Instagram. But I'm nearly at 10,000 subscribers, not subscribers, followers. Um, so yeah, head over to Instagram if you haven't already. I post daily content there pretty much when I'm on the road like I am now. So you can keep up to date with me in real time. Let's just turn around one more time and breathe it in. Are you ready? Utai Tani. Not bad for half past nine in the morning. Really bad has happened to Dreamy. She just in fourth gear, she just wouldn't go past 60 miles an hour or 60 kilometers an hour. And then she just kind of lost complete power. And that's making a really bad noise. I just drove through a little town and if I know Thailand, I know that, oh my god, there'll be a garage but God knows if he knows what's wrong or if he has the right parts. They're normally good for like changing tires and changing oil and doing minor repairs. This really sounds bad guys. Look, listen, listen when I rev. That's full power. And she's, she's creeping back up to 50. But listen. 
Oh, that doesn't sound good, does it? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That doesn't sound good at all. Dreamy, what happened, babe? Oh, Jesus. Oh, she won't even kickstart now. Like there's something. Oh, jeez. I wonder if there's like... That's a bad smell as well. I wonder if um, something got caught in the engine or something. Because the kickstart feels obstructed. Bugger. Well, our first breakdown, legit breakdown. I mean, we've been in the garage a bunch, but that was just to replace old parts, get new parts, change tires. This is, uh, this is something else. Somebody cap? Engine. Uh, Broken. Hi. Thank you. At least it doesn't sound as bad as that bike. <laughs> um, by the way, I don't know who this guy is, but you know, this is Thailand and everybody's like super helpful and nice. So like, let's just see what happens here. Smoke coming out. Shy, I'm tired. My the hang. I I changed the oil when I got the new exhaust put on, which was less than a week ago. Yeah, in Koh Samui, in the Honda shop, they gave me a new oil change. That's weird. So he's saying basically the oil's gone. So I must have had an oil leak during the 600 kilometer drive from the south to China. And now the whole thing's gone to shit. But I didn't see any oil leaks. Like I normally see drips of it, but. Under here. Under here. The oil must have been slowly leaking out over the past few days. Like drip, drip, drip. It's amazing. I broke down. I broke down what? A minute ago? And there's already two mechanics on, our, on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Luckily, that town was just up there. If this had happened in 20 minutes before or 10 minutes after, I would have been in the middle of the rice field with nothing around. Good on dreaming to break down in the right place. Important assets in motorcycles are silk to keep them in on the body. Okay, I think he's trying to say take these off.
Okay, these guys are legendary. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be getting fixed really quickly. It might take a day or two. He even said maybe three days. I had Miss P on the phone. She's in Bangkok, obviously she speaks um, Thai and English. And she's been communicating with them. And they just think that the part is gonna take a few days to arrive or what, or I don't know, I don't know. So this town, this sleepy little town in the middle between Udantani, Utaitani town. And yes, yeah, sorry. He says, today the mechanic will wait to fix it. Wait for about two days until it's done. Then go to the accommodation. Okay, okay. Two days, oh dear. It's a good job I'm not in a rush to get to Chiang Mai. These guys are legendary, huh? There's not really a whole lot I can do in this situation because I'm not a mechanic. I don't have spare parts and I don't know what I'm doing, basically. And how fortunate that I broke down directly opposite a bloke who had a truck and who knows what he's talking about and is willing to help a foreigner and willing to help a stranger. So thank you to these guys. I will try and give them some cash. I have a thousand baht cash on me. I'll try and give it to them, but I guarantee they won't accept it, but I'll try. It will be a small token for them helping me. And you know, Dream is at the garage now and she might be there for some time. And here we are at a hotel. Hotel Pori Noon. Not far away from the garage, not far away from Dreamy, that's the main thing. It looks beautiful. Oh, these guys, okay, okay, you guys are legends. Number four, my lucky number. <laughs> okay, thanks. You know where you stay, right? Yeah. If it if it's close by 7-Eleven or there's some restaurant nearby. Yeah, that's no problem. Anything. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I asked him and he said there's 7-Eleven, right? But he said he would offer you a bike, like his bike for you to dive around, you know? And then when you get your bike fixed and all done, he'll just like give you a bike and you just return his bike. Okay, that sounds great. Okay, those two gentlemen have helped me no end. So obviously I've checked in now and not only did they, you know, help figure out what was wrong with my bike and take the bike to the mechanic shop, but they've also dropped off his spare motorbike. He's like, oh, how are you going to get around, you know? And, um, you know, it's going to take a couple of days to fix your bike. He's just nipped home and brought back this little red Yamaha GT125. It's really old and it's like destroyed completely and the front brake isn't working. Only the back brake is working. So um, it's definitely not a long touring bike. <laughs> it's not a dreamy replacement. It's just a substitution until she gets fixed. Now today's Monday lunchtime and they're saying that it won't be ready till Wednesday. And by the way, I took out 600 baht, 300 for each. And I, you know, tried to give it to the guy, especially after he drove in, dropped this off. I said, let me pay you. And I gave him, I went like this with the money and he just went, no, 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 no. Like he was super adamant about not receiving any money. So I did try to say thank you with cash, but this is just Thai, this is Thai people. Thai people are so proud and so helpful. They don't do anything for money. Um, they're just genuinely really nice. Just like most people are, thank God. Um, really nice to, have that connection with the Thai people again and get helped um, for no gain, just to be nice. It's nice to be nice, isn't it? So if, if you're watching two gents on the side of the road, I didn't catch your names, but thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for taking care of Dreamy and thank you for giving me a motorbike. Anyway, time for a nap and we'll pick up in a really beautiful spot in the afternoon, testing out this little banger. This feels so wrong, guys. So wrong on so many levels. Firstly, it feels like I'm cheating on Dreamy with this Yamaha. I'm not only cheating on Dreamy, but I'm che cheating on Honda with a dirty Yamaha. <laughs> also, as is the fashion 
in some parts of Thailand, they've removed the wind mirrors. I have no mirrors. Because who needs mirrors, right? I'm heading out to these rocky formations in the distance here. Looks like a bit of weather's blowing in, but that's okay. It's called the, um, the Switzerland of Thailand. <laughs> that's what they call it on Instagram anyway. And we'll be there in a minute. I've got to go on this bypass road because they're doing a roadworks and we have to go around. Look at these luscious rice fields. Oh my gosh, and the water. And these are luscious and ready for the picking. And there's also sugarcane. Basically, the only crops I've seen in the center of Thailand is rice and sugarcane. Down south, we sow so much more. Palm oil, coconuts, papayas, durians, pineapples, watermelons, everything, basically. But we didn't see much sugarcane, and either we didn't see much rice, but this is where it seems to be grown, in the middle of the country. And doesn't it look cool with the wind blowing on that rice? I talk too much. Let's cut to the beautiful area. <laughs> bloody windy. What are these people doing? This must be an Instagram spot. But this is uh, the definition of a country road, is it not? Look at this. Oh, they're just chilling with the speaker. I mean, look at this. you got the crazy, crazy corn or the maize. You know what? I've never, ever had a good look at maize before. Let's go have a quick look. Hopefully nobody crashes into this bike. Obviously, I've seen corn in all the movies, but I've never, never gotten this close to the crop itself. Let's have a little look here. This is corn, right? Or is this sugar cane? <laughs> I don't know. Oi. So, what do we have? So this is the flower, right? So it's in the flowering stage, and then this, in here, this will be the corn. So once this germinates, boom, it will turn into fruit or corn, which is obviously not a fruit. So that's good, I didn't know it flowered like that, I didn't know it was so purple. I wonder what bug or insect germinates them. And there's rain coming down there. There's a shag load of rain behind the mountain. <laughs> this is country road, huh? Oh, country road, take me home to the place where I belong. Oh, Titani, lots of corn. But poor Dreamy, she's not here to see it. <laughs> okay, so I've parked up. That bike is a piece of rubbish, man. A piece of shit. It's like the front of it is like rackety. It's not even attached to the bike. It was like shaking in the wind. It's not supposed to do that. <laughs> So this is the Switzerland of Thailand, they call it, because obviously I think it's like these aggressive rock formations that make it look like the Matterhorn or whatever, but it really just looks like Thailand. Um, still beautiful, obviously, look at this, next level, but um, that local storm is blowing over at the moment, so I'm gonna hold out and wait. So stay with me at the end of this video. If I do capture some really nice light in the sunset, I'll share it with you. Um, but if it just rains and it's miserable till dark, then I'm sorry. Um, quick question. Uh, obviously, we've looked at the corn. It's beautiful. But what's this? Because this is everywhere and it's kind of like shoulder height, but there's no flowers, no fruit, nothing growing on this yet. It just kind of looks like a bush. I don't think it's tea. It might be coffee. I don't know. What do you? Can you let me know in the comments? Because I'd like to know what that is. And I mean, this is a nice little spot here. A little monk here just turned up. And um, just keep your fingers crossed for Dreamy. It was a bit of a rough day today, especially when he told me three days to fix it, maybe. We'll see if it fixes in three days. We have a sub, the crappy Hummer, Yamaha with the crappy thing. We'll substitute her out. 
the next video we're going to use that bike and drive west into the mountains of Utaitani province because there's some incredible incredible hidden gems which I wanted to include in this video but because Dreamy basically died I decided to cut it into two videos because otherwise it would be way too long this video is already way too long isn't it so I hope you enjoyed it leave a like also subscribe if you're new if you've made it to the end it's free to do click subscribe I checked the analytics of my channel and it's like 49% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed but they keep coming back so just subscribe and then you don't have to keep coming back you'll get the notification if you turn the bell on every time okay rant over thank you for watching and hopefully enjoy some nice footage of switzerland beautiful buddha And beautiful views.